Guys, what is up? It's your boy Brad Flauta coming at you. Thursday night, you guys are about ready to see history in the making. What you're watching right now is the Ironman World Championship 2022 in Hawaii, Kona, Hawaii. On the screen is Chelsea, and she's an American. A female American, a male American has not won this race in almost 30 years. This is history in the making, and she's a rookie. This is her first Kona race. This is a very proud moment. Very proud moment. Really great. And this is the last mile here. This is live. You're watching this live. Her name's Chelsea Sodero. And uh, nobody picked her to win. You're looking at the fittest woman on the planet in 2022, right here. Now, there was another world championship earlier in the year, but that was for last year, and it was in St. George. So, technically, it doesn't count for 2022, but Daniela Reef won that. She's not doing too great in this race, guys. But... This is a really great moment, guys. Really great moment. So we're watching the final mile here. And I watched this race almost all day today. Got a little work done. Went for a bike ride. Um, we got Lucy Charles on the screen right now. She's in second place. I don't know if you guys fire, uh, follow Ironman or triathlons or anything like that. Uh, Lucy had a rough day. She just came off an injury. She had a, a pretty good swim. She swam like 51 minutes almost on the dot. She had a pretty good bike. Rough run. Not rough. I mean, you know, there's just other runners that are just um, better than her. And uh, this year they did something a little different. They split up the men and the women. So usually in the years past, they have the men and the women run together on the same day. But this year, the women are running on a Thursday, which is so weird. There's Annie Haug. And she's in third place right now. And uh, she actually won the last race here in Hawaii, which was in 2019. Because they didn't have a race in 2020. Or 2021 for that matter. But yeah, this is a really great moment, guys. They better go back to the leader here. Final mile. We got 0.4 to go. They've been racing for eight out eight hours, 31 minutes, 27 seconds. In case you guys don't know what the Ironman World Championship is, it's 2.4 mile swim. 112 mile bike and then you got to run a marathon and there she is the american rookie who's about ready to win the ironman world championship 2022 she's running down the home stretch right now i'm gonna turn on the volume here just so we can hear all the whoops sorry about that screen there like i said this is live so Woo. it's a proud moment guys I never, I honestly never thought I would see an American win this race again. The, the international athletes are just way better right now. But that may change here with Chelsea. And uh, this is on Elite E Drive in Kona, Kailua Kona in Hawaii. So we're just going to take a moment and listen to it here. Eight hours, 32 minutes, guys. Amazing. She better grab one of those American flags. That's all I got to say. Amazing. Like I said, she's a rookie. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. And I'm going to 
do the last mile of the men's race too for you guys on Saturday. I'm gonna watch it all day Saturday. Yep. She's young too. Hopefully she'll be a winner for a long time. Maybe she put us back on the map in the iron in the world of Iron Man. Because the Americans have been not doing great. We've had a couple second place finishes a couple years ago. Tim O'Donnell on the male side. He's going to be racing on Saturday. He had a heart attack. <laughs> he had a heart attack. So, woo! 8, 33, we'll call it. She looks like she still could go. Oh, there's her family. Look at the kids like, what's going on, mommy? She ran a 2.51 marathon after a 2.4 mile swim and 112 miles on the bike. Incredible stuff here today. We saw her come across the line champion and within seven minutes of the best we've ever seen. Crazy. What a show for the rookie. I, I don't think Absolutely crazy. Uh, again, we've yet to see a, a real smile. It almost is disbelief. Uh, I've seen her say, oh my gosh, several times. I, I don't think she believes Wow. It. Well, I tell you what. I know. She is believing it. You and I got to if you would have asked me at the beginning of today, I would have never have said American was going to win this. Would never have thought an American was going to win this. Once again, the title goes home. There's Lucy Charles in second place. She's she's been limping the whole run. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy that. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Peace.